In this video, we're going to create some site grading within Civil 3D. The first thing we need to do is create a feature line from our objects. Now, a feature line in Civil 3D is kind of like an extended 3D polyline. In it, we can actually assign names to it, we can assign a style, and we can most importantly assign elevations very easily. In this case, we're giving the elevation of 855. The next step in the process is to create a Civil 3D grading group. Now a grading group, it's a parametric object that actually links feature lines together using a series of parametric rules. In this case, we give our grading group a name and we can optionally give it a description. We're going to call this one a site pad. And we're going to turn on the automatic surface creation. This lets us visualize our results on screen as we continually add components to the grading group itself. We can set a target surface. In this case, we're going to target back to our existing ground. And these are our actual grading tools. And what we're going to do is just perform a simple daylighting at a percent. So we create the grading, selecting the feature line, and then selecting the side we wish to apply the grading to. And as you can see, very, very quickly we're able to daylight back to our existing surface. We're going to create an infill for the actual pad area itself. We can actually select our gradings now and come and edit them. So we can always come back and we're going to change our cut slope in this case to maybe 25%. And as we hit enter, you can see the geometry updates on screen in real time. So now we have two surfaces. We have our existing ground and we have our grading surface. Now what we're going to do is create a third surface and this is going to be a composite of the two. So using standard Civil 3D, we're going to create a new composite surface called EG plus pad and within that we're going to come down to our definition with our edits right click paste the surface and we're going to paste the two surfaces together as you can see now we have a composite surface consisting of the existing ground and our new pad